Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog Yo. here on the World of Coasters. If you're noticing something different today, it's because I've got a different camera, haven't I? No, it hasn't. I've got, no, I have. Use my car. Yeah, my, my camera. My car has a puncher and my camera's, the shutter keeps messing around, as you may have seen from previous vlogs. So he's going to um, be disappointed with so the quality. So yeah, no, no, this one's really good. It's a G7X, this camera, Mark II. Yeah. Uh, today we're at Pleasurewood Hills uh, in Lowestoft, England. Oh, we love this part, don't we, Lou? Yeah, we, often, but, yeah. we come here once a year whenever we come to Norfolk, uh, visit Great Yarmouth and uh, we always come here it's a great little theme park we come here since 2015 haven't we yeah we're every single year, year. Uh, don't know what's new at the park this year but we're kind of having a mooch around it's a little park owned by the loopings group uh the loopings group uh own drayton manor and all that sort of thing they own west midland safari park put, um what's it called the drop tower here the drop tower apocalypse oh yeah that would be good <laughs> that like would be cool. <laughs> we're just actually yeah, louise just saying because we're just coming up to their drop tower the jolly roger which is a weird name for a drop tower i reckon um but yeah it's a good one there's still 100 foot not sure the manufacturer of it Very is 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 it's not overly busy here today it's a saturday they do run like less hours at this park um they've got some good coasters here express being a zero coaster you've got cannonball express behind us here which is a old swash core for older coaster that used to be in pots of the pan i believe um which is the part we've now been to what else have they got here they've got wipeout which is a vacoma boomerang the only the one left in the uk amazing. the log boom it's actually very warm today and i am wearing jeans I have got the sun cream on though, so I hope you want your sun yeah. But yeah, going to have a great day here. We always have a great day at Pleasurewood Hills. The team are really good here. Um, we've got the log boom. I'll probably give that a go in this weather, even though my jeans are getting soaked. It's fine. Yeah, it's great fun. Anyway, what are we going to do first? We want to go Cannonball Express. We want to go on the drop tower. We're yeah, literally. Let's go on Cannonball Express. Let's get it out of the way. Okay, so Cannonball Express is a old Schwarzkopf uh, roller coaster. Used to be in Plops of the Pan. I think it's been to a couple of UK parks as well. I can't really remember. Yeah, just going past the Jolly Roger now, which is the drop tower. Like I said, this is a good drop tower, isn't it, Lou? One thing that I do need to say is I can film on the rides here. Got the chesty here. I normally bring the wrist strap for this um, park, but I forgot it. So I've only got the chesty, which is a bit of a shame because we can't get any reaction shots. Uh, just means on ride POVs. Anyway, we'll have a look at the queue for this because it is queuing here. I think it's just, just people waiting around. And then we'll see you uh, when we get off Cannonball Express. There we go. Pretty intense little coaster, this one. It isn't bad. It does need a bit of TLC, this one here. It only has the one train, quite low capacity. Uh, no option on where to sit, but uh, yeah, it does look like it needs some more TLC. Just down here, for example, last year one of the kicker wheels had fallen off, and now both of the kicker wheels have gone. So, yeah, we've got one set of kicker wheels down there. Definitely needs some TLC, to be honest. I reckon this, um, this ride's days are numbered in this park. But yeah, we'll see you on the Cannibal Express. a quick ride on the Cannonball Express there waited what five ten minutes wasn't too long we didn't wait that long we literally jumped most of the queue because they we were the only two there so that wasn't yeah. too bad I want to apologize for the GoPro footage in that one I didn't realize I was messing around with the settings on this the other night forgot to put the uh, shutter back on all time so it's a bit washed out so it's okay now but yeah it's a good job to get this one done first as you can see we'll have a look at the queue now it's queuing quite a way up now that's a good like 20 30 minute queue but next up we're going to go on to the jolly roger which is this drop tower if i had to guess i'd say it's farbury yeah it's definitely a farbury because i can see the logo underneath so the same manufacturer as destinator different model though a bit older but you can just notice the f's on the underside of the drop carriage there 100 foot tall the same as destinator and actually does really good forces on this one you know it's just an old fairground one as you can see but it's uh, it's a good little drop tower so it'll be up next so here we go second ride of the day the jolly roger we're on the chest ring we're facing the trees you get a good view of the park actually on this 
Cannonball Express down there. It's quite a sizable park. Uh, I think, to be honest, it's only recently become like more well known. It wasn't very well known a few years back. <gasps> yeah, we're at the top now. Get something nice and quick and a good oh little drop God. tower. I think now I'm going to hang hang around. That's the way down. Ah. Here we go. Oh Ready, wait for it. There's Yarmouth in the distance. Treasiness. I'm holding on. I'm scared. <laughs> I your car. Don't look at my car. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good drop tower. <laughs> really good. An absolutely great ride on the Jolly Roger there. It's just something about that drop tower. Like, it's it just, more force, like going down. It goes, to, it goes to show that size isn't everything with a drop tower. Like, you know. <laughs> I've been on the likes of Hurricane Condor at sort of Influence Port Ventura. Uh, been on Falcon Fury out at Bush Gardens at Tampa Bay. And oh, there's much bigger. I am also dark. No. But one thing that will be happening soon is we'll be going out to Salou. We actually have confirmed the trip now. Yeah, we've booked it. It's all booked. So uh, mid, mid to late July, we're going for a week out to Salou. I'm really looking forward to it. We last went in 2017. Um, yeah, when when, um, when they opened Ferrari Land Park, Louise at the time wasn't the biggest roller coaster fan, and I got you on Shambhala, didn't I? Yeah, because I got this handbag. Yeah, fossil there. handbag. It was like eighty euros. No, it's a Desigo one. Oh, Desigo, yeah, because that got... was my way of like that getting one. in. But you you did enjoy it, didn't you? Yeah, it was it was scary. But... It, it's a really good coaster. I'm so looking forward to get back on it. Um, but yeah, Louise hasn't been on a lot of the rides out there because you weren't big into coasters. You haven't been on Dragon Car, and you haven't been on Red Force. You went on Stampede. And Tomahawk. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there later uh, next month. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're enjoying Pleasurewood Hills. Like I say, you can really see um, where the money goes for the Loopings group. Like this park is, it has had a lot of money put yeah. into it, but I feel over the past two seasons or so, could use a bit of a refresh on certain things. Express. Yeah, just li li little things like, you know, it's me being a theme park snob again, like this sign's starting to get sun faded. But then. They, they, they've really put a lot of money into Drayton Manor at the moment and I can understand. After all, Drayton Manor is their flagship park in the UK. They have multiple parks well, all over Europe, but the main ones, like I say, they have in uh, the UK are Pleasurewood Hills, Drayton Manor and uh, West Midlands Safari Park, of which we've been to all three now, haven't we? But here's a picture of the park map. This looks like it's had a little bit of a refresh this year. Oh, they uh, won, just... they, 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 they got one of their awards Oh there. yeah, so they actually won the UK Theme Park Awards. Best Family Park. Wow, this that's... is like an Instagram thing. We got nominated for one of those. They, they only got silver, so second best. I think Paulton's won the gold on that one. Yeah. But yeah, still very good achievement for them. Yeah. They've got some really good rides here. Uh, like I said, it's not the biggest park in the world, but we got the Zero Coaster Express, which we're going over that to next. Fun. That was good. We were here for our opening day of that one, weren't we, yeah. by mistake? And they had a brilliant ride off. I, I wonder if he's still working. He was mm. excellent. Uh, we've got the Wipeout, which is behind us, the Vacoma Boomerang Coaster, the last one in the UK, as I said earlier. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of these. Normally I go on this, but I'm not feeling it today. Like, it is a headbanger through and through. I've got Pov's on the channel. Well, it's yeah. Very, yeah. It's actually just going now. I'll get, I'll get a segment of it riding, but it's not very smooth at all, this one. Um, actually started this life up in Glasgow, I believe. It was the Coca-Cola Coaster. And it has moved around quite a few times. I'm not sure whether this one was at the American Adventure as the missile. Uh, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's been here for a fair few years. Mm. And it is um, it is the biggest coaster in the east of England. Which, uh, you know, they've only got the roller coaster. There are quite a few coasters here. Yarmouth and, uh, and uh, the uh, Joyland. But yeah, this is the largest one. Yeah, it's a slow climb up to the top here and then like it's not too bad going down the first drop but it's when you hit the cobra roll let's see if we can get any reactions much slower zoom on this camera but it's so good quality zoom i do like it here we go let's see there they go oh oh so smooth oh it's like butter yeah i don't think i'll be going on this one again today guys once you've been on a Vacoma boomerang and you've got the credit you don't need to, but like I say, last two or three seasons I've done it every time. But I'm just not really feeding it today. So plenty of plots around for expansion. Uh, Louise was just saying you got a big plot here by the first train station. Yeah, that is new. 
Um, I think there is something new for this year, but I haven't actually seen what it is, whether it's a show or something like that. But they've also got another plot behind the Wipeout ride. Uh, there used to be an old, like, waltzer ride back here. Uh, when we came in 2015, it was standing and operating. Then there was a giant deck chair. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I do remember. I don't know where that's gone. But yeah, this park, this park needs a, another new couple of flats. It definitely needs a coaster, but like I say, it isn't, isn't the biggest park in the world, but we still have a great day here. So yeah, here is where the old flat ride used to be. It used to be here, and they've cleared it and put grass over it now. So we'll make a good location for a flat ride. And then over this fence is just an old pool. Uh, which so that's I, well maintained. I don't know whether that was used for a ride at one point. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Like they've got plenty of room to expand here. As we head round out, you can Death see the, the Death Trap cable car along here, as the he's calls it. You hate it, don't you? Oh, they are scary. It's so slow, but I do like a ride I feel now. Like if you're maybe like a child, you're okay, but we're two adults. We'll almost certainly go on this one later. It is a, a very old ski lift. It reminds me very much of the one you can find at um, Blizzard Beach in Orlando. It takes you up to the highest slide. Uh, same style of cars, but yeah, it's uh, again. Looks a bit of a death trap, but it's a good laugh. I do like it. Got the Castle Theatre here. Again, the sign is looking very faded on it this season, but the repaint is holding up. They did a couple of seasons ago. There are not one, but two miniature railways along here. Um, so you've got the larger one along here, and then there's a little teeny tiny one that goes through the woods. Uh, what's, what's this here? So we've got food outlets and shops. These are all new signages. Yeah, new signage along here, which is good to see. So one thing they do really well at this park are their shows. They've got two animal shows here. They've got the Birds of Paradise, which is a parrot show, and the Sea Lion Splash. Now we actually have watched the uh, Sea Lion Splash many times. We've only seen the parrot show once. We always miss it, don't we? Always miss it. So the plan today is we're not going to miss it. We, we've um, decided we're going to get our lunch from Tesco's, which is just down the road from here. It's literally, you can, you can walk it in like two minutes. It's really nice to have a supermarket so close. Um, but yeah, at one o'clock and four o'clock, I imagine that one we'll probably watch a four o'clock show, that one, for the parrots. Yeah. Unless we go for an early lunch. Well, it depends, because what time's the sea lion? Because we always watch The sea lunch. lion is 12 and 3. We'll see how we go, but yeah, it's 12 and 3 and 1 and 4. Let's so turn the camera around now. This used to be an old pedalo attraction on this lake. However, last year it was removed, and uh, this year the algae has really taken over like mad. You used to like going on these pedalos, didn't you? They, they used to be, you know, just little tranquil pedalo ride through the um, the lake here. So as we come out a bit further, you can actually see uh, Fireball, which was a uh, KMG uh, swinging ride. That has been removed now. So look, look, another attraction gone from here, look. KMG ride is gone, um, which is a bit of a shame. That's, you know, a bit of a crowd please of those ones. They have one at Fort Park uh, by the name of Vortex. I believe that's KMG. Yeah, here's the old entrance for the pedalos, which the uh, station has actually collapsed now completely into the lake. So oh, I wonder wow. if that, that, that probably had something to do with why this one's closed. Well, look, the cable car's running now. They'll be able to get over the other side. So, yeah, it's a great shame to see that more and more rides have been removed from this park. I suppose, I suppose they have to pay for their rides at their other park somehow. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see whether they're replacing it because that's what, two, three rides gone now? Uh, over the past five years. They have put some investments back in, but yeah, this one was really popular. Especially with like young, young girls. Yeah. Teenage. I think to be honest, Loopings have taken a brand new approach to both Drayton Manor and this park. They want total family, total yeah. family thrills. And to be honest, a KMG ride like that is a bit intense for families. Um, like Drayton Manor, you know, if they go down the route of Drayton Manor, then it's a bright future for this park. Um, I really like what they've done with the... It's um, certainly busier than it's ever been. Oh yeah, but I like what they've done with the um, Express around here. That was 2016 or 2017 new edition? Um, 2017, I think. Um, but yeah, like they've, they've actually built out, and you can kind of see it's the same style that you get at Drayton Manor. It's like, it, it's not budget, but it's it's not like Disney level, but I think it's done really well. You know, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like, oh yeah, they've been down being q and bought a load of wood. They have, yeah, they've built a load of barns, but like with the river rapids at Drayton Manor, it's, it's cheap wood and all that, but it's really well done. They haven't hired out like a theming company to do it. They've done it all in house. 
We've got roosters here, which is little chicken. It still isn't quite open yet, it's still quite early. One thing it's I have. SpongeBob text. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please collect beer. <laughs> One eternity later. So, yeah, plenty to do in this park. Like, it is a family park at the end of the day. If you come here expecting frills, 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 it ain't gonna be You'll a good get day. A nil, nil, nil. Like, the only reason they're keeping the wipeout is because it's such a big coast and they probably wouldn't get planning for another one like that. And also they're holding the record, aren't they, for so. Yeah, like, I, I do reckon Cannibal Express is uh, days are numbered. But that is, again, it's a family coaster. It's not intense like that and see a lot of kids on it. But here is the main draw of this park for us. We love the Express. It's, got a little cube. it's an old Zero coaster. Um, it used to be called the Ladybird or the Rattlesnake. Do you remember it was standing? But standing but not yeah. operating. Yeah, and it was all behind a fence. And then the following season, they themed it up and opened it up. Like, I wonder what they're doing with that. And then yeah. the very next yeah. season. And like I say, I love what they've done with it. It's, it's just a basic double figure of eight Zero coaster, high capacity, brilliant theme, and you can just see it running around now with the little egg on the front so we get on this one next and uh, film a pod for you right so here we go second vlog second coaster of the day the express said RMC were the first people to come up with iBox tracked. Well, it's, it's kind of iBox-ish. It's not, a, it's not a circular rail like you get on other coasters. Great little ride on the Express there. What do you think of that, Lou? I love that one, but Lou's too big for it now. I must admit, no, like, I, 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 it's, it's, like, I legs. it's my legs. I had to cross my legs to get in that time. Uh, like, it is, it, I think in times gone by, we sat in individual rows. We haven't, we never sat in The more rows. modern Zeros. Well, like, I've noticed the adults at the back were sitting in all, all, maybe we need to. All the Zeros at Pleasurewood, uh, not Pleasurewood Hills, at Portland's Park, we get on them fine. I think it's just, your, your legs are long, aren't they? But I had to cross my legs on that. There was no way I was getting in otherwise. Anyway, the cable car's running now. Do you want to take that over to the other side of the park? Yeah, that thing just comes behind. Just well, that and it can in. it can get quite a long queue. So I'll be able to film on this one, guys. I'll hold the camera and really hopefully not it. drop it uh, down below because it goes over the river. Okay, sadly we won't be going on the chairlifts yet. Although they're running it, it's not actually open until midday. Um, but yeah, this is the quieter end to go from. The queue down the other end gets quite big, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah, if you want to get on it quick, either come before 12 and get in it before the queue opens, or come over to this side that goes over. Yeah, see, it was just running, and it's been running while we've been on this ride, but uh, currently no more. Oh, there it goes again. So we're just going past the Wave Breaker ride, which is a little dinghy slide, just similar to Depth Charge at Fall Park. It must be two per boat. Oh, no, it's two. Okay, it's two here. I always forget the rules. With St. Louis, I think it's one per boat here. But Fall Park is one adult per yeah. boat. So. Luke will go in my lap somewhere in the dress. It's a good one. This I do like it. We'll go on it later. It's got a bit of a queue at the moment. Maybe go on the train. I think the train is it just pulling into the station. Have we just met? I can't remember if the station's behind this bush or this bush. Oh no, it is the one on the left, so we have just missed the train sadly. So we'll be going on it. Entering the kiddie area of the park now, little tiny rides along here. They've got rid of their little bumper cars along here. So funny today. Look, look, they're all gone. They've got rid of you just run around the track on this one. So that's a bit sad. Like, you know, they could have some little push bikes or the little go-karts. You remember at the middle, was it the, no, the, uh, the big sheep, the go-karts on the track, oh, the pedal ones. 
But yeah, they've got a little selection of rides here. They've got a little uh, safari ride over there. You've got a little pony trek ride oh my here. God, we're going on the safari ride. The most disappointing. Do you want to do that no, one now? No, disappointing. It's just needs some renovation. Let's make it. Let's make it our next ride. It ain't got much of a queue. So the safari ride here is a little old timers car ride um, through a safari. So let's go on our jungle safari and see what we can see. Proper old style Model T cars here. Oh, this this is an old school ride. So we're off on our jungle safari. Louise in the front, she's taking the wheel. Turn, Lou, turn! There we go, look at that. Skills one-handed. Uh, one thing for sure on this ride, don't have a lot of head clearance. Like, my head is in the ceiling. It's down here normally. Me. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be on our safari now. So let's see what we can see. We've first got our reindeer here. It's not Rudolph. It's up in the north part at the moment. If we venture around and see what else we can see. Wow, there's an old beat up car. To be honest, it doesn't look much worse than what we're in at the moment. Yeah. I don't know what's worse. Maybe being on an actual safari in here. <laughs> so we've got the lion here with its weird long legs at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Alligator hiding in the long grass. And here we have the hippo. The the su yes, yeah, sand. It's actually screaming for its life there. Got a snake, sliver little snake hiding in the tree, in the trees. And then we have the uh, giraffe, which will be coming around for a bit of view in a minute. Again, got really long legs. Have a look at the lion. He's uh, really it like a chicken <laughs> Yeah. Quicksand, yeah, there's a sign for quicksand, Lou, yeah. that's what's happened. What's well, all the animals? Yeah, they're all just sinking in the it's sand. Good, we're on the good because we're on the farm. We're on the road, and here we go. The monkey that looks fabulous, sir. Oh, yeah. And that just about concludes the safari now. Like, jungle uh, jungle cruise at Disneyland, eat your nothing, heart out. Ain't got nothing to this. Like, if this was a boat ride, I think it might just top it. Anyway, Louise is going to see us in, and that'll be it. We're going to roll back, because it does have the anti-roll back along here. You see those little pads up ahead. So we're going to stop. There's our anti-roll back there. And it's just going to hold us. <laughs> so there we go. So, a really great ride on one of the best safari rides in the world there. <laughs> like, you know what? It's not terrible. Like, could you use some TLC. All they just need to do is just replace the little... Give it some... Yeah, like give it give it some more theming. Give it that, that like Drayton Manor-esque theming or the um, the Express theming that you kind of got on there. I think that would do quite well. Anyway, Louise doesn't want to go on the steeplechase behind us at the moment, so we're going to head over kids. towards Root and Tootin now, Hobbs which used to be Hobbs Pit. And I mean, when Hobbs Pit was in this part, me and Louise were lucky enough to experience it once. Yeah, actually, it was um, scary. It, was, it was, was quite a scary ride. Like It was vo uh, voted as the UK's scariest ride, <laughs> and it did not fit the theme of this park at all. Uh, like it's a family park, and then when the Loopings Group bought this park out, I think they bought it in about 2017, um, they got rid of it straight away. There are still references to it, um, it's now Root and Tootin, which is an interactive dark ride. We do like it, don't we? It's a good one, yeah, but it's not scary. But it's not meant to be scary now, it's family, it scary. family fun. Uh, so let's head over and go blast some cowboys. So, just along this side of the park, we've got the miniature rock train, which we'll go on later. But Louise wants to ask the question, this building that's covered in tree currently, is it open, Lou? Because that is where you get your bargain tango ice blast from. Literally, I think it's like £2.50 for an ice blast, a large one. And if you've ever been to a cinema in the UK, they're like five quid normally. Oh no, they've closed it and it's gone now. It's not even a sweet shop anymore, Lou. That is disappointment. Yeah, there's a new food place here. Yeah, I think that's what's new for 2022. We've got the carousel here, which used to play pop songs on its organ. And we used to have a great laugh yeah. guessing the songs that were being played on it. Uh, but yeah, along here, again, this has seen a lot of uh, work recently by the looks of it. All new facades and uh, yeah. it just looks like it's had a bit of fresh paint. And actually, when this park put a bit of effort into their part, you know, areas, it looks really good. So Rooting Toot is just behind it. It's had a new sign, Lou. So let's go have a look at the new sign before we get on the ride. So what would it be without an arcade in Norfolk? Louise, it's the ride you went on. This got her warmed up for the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So if you watch the first vlog we did from here, Louise actually rode this and it's, a, it's an old one and it shows a video of either the big one from Blackpool Pleasure Beach or the Big Dipper from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Here's the Big Dipper now 
and it just Why moves. Another, I, I don't know. No, but yeah, you got you got the old sort of the old buttons, the Big Dipper and the Pepsi Max, and you sat in there and rode it, didn't you? Imagine if we could buy how, how good was it for simulating the ride experience? Yeah. Because there's more, weren't there? Yeah. Oh no, definitely. These are like my childhood. These little uh, simulators along here. Yeah, it was gone a little while ago, and it's back. Yeah, just like the big one, but no lap bar to come down. But yeah, pound to go. We've got children or a Louise. I got this. Oh, we found a few two peas in the uh, bottom of the slots. Yeah, Lou, it's about ten p there. Or my left hand. I wonder if you're going to win anything. I don't think so. I don't think the machine is going to Oh, and it's gone. So yeah, the street along by Route 2 in has all seen a bit of a freshen up. Brand new sign on the uh, outdoor of the ride. Like, it looks a lot nicer, a lot fresher. Uh, but there wasn't anything particularly wrong with the old sign. Yeah, the wheels. Used to have a skeleton on it at one point, but we're jumping the queue for this one. See if they've changed anything internally. The arcade we were just in also has some new signage and the new restaurant that opened this year is just along here. They have got rid of their shark that was hanging up. Wonder if he'll be returning. It used to be on this frame here. But yeah, there's a restaurant here called Amigos, which is an authentic Mexican cantina here. Uh, is it open? I don't think it's open at the moment. Oh, Louise is looking at the menus. So yeah, all ice cream. I see ice cream straight away. Oh, churros, churros and ice cream. She doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I think it's literally open yesterday or something. It is like proper brand new in there. Yeah. Just a little tiny stall. You can't really see very well. Yeah, there's uh, some of the options up there. So here we go. Next ride of the day. The Route and in Target Trail. They've actually still got the old sign up here on the left. So that used to be the entrance. They keep changing it around. They've got, they've got rid of the old arcade entrance now. So you can't go in. But yeah, this used to be the entrance when it was Hobbs Pit, and yeah. then it changed, and now they've changed it back. Yeah, still some references to Hobbs Pit. So you've got Sam Hobbs here, which uh, is interesting, but this way you used to go into Hobbs Pit. So we're off straight away on Bruton Tootin. No scorecards on this one. You see it as you come into the ride. It's a bit of a design flaw, really. This is the same system that you can find on Chesterton World of Adventures 2 Blaster. I'm not the biggest fan of these um, laser ones because they're not interactive and uh, they're just huge targets. Got Louise behind me here having a blast away. But uh, yes, good beaming in it nonetheless. It is a pretty cool dark ride, but it was a lot better when it was hops pin. But we were talking about family friendly park here. So there's Mars, there's Mars, there's mine. Oh, and we're, we're getting some bread and cheese and a wrap. So great ride there on the Route 2. We waited about 10 minutes for that. It is quite a slow, low capacity ride, but it's, it's good nonetheless. Good level of theming in it. I feel that if Drayton Manor had the um, their like Take Back the West ride, um, that length it would be really good. I thought I lost you for a second. I thought it dived into the can of the. Um, into the arcade. Yeah, we're just getting nipping and use the loose here, but then I think after that it's time for the sea line show. Just call you stacking it on camera, Lou. <laughs> no, my opinion of the uh, Root and Tootin. Root and is the theming is really good, but there's not enough interaction with the blast. Yeah, it, it does need. Uh, it looks like when you hit them, they, they like interact with it. But like I said, the one at Drayton Manor, really that good interaction. Does, yeah. And like I said, I would love That's to see. I would love to see you got a bonus. I didn't get a bonus. <laughs> no bonuses at Pleasurewood Hills. Anyway, we'll see you over at the Sea Lion Show in a minute. As we come out towards the Sea Lion Show, they are letting people in now by the looks of it. We got Marble Madness here, which is a Mauer uh, White Mouse Coaster. Same layer as Rattlesnake and Chesterton, just reversed. And I wonder whether they've done some work on their brakes because this is a notorious roller coaster with a break of death where the uh, block just after this corner here wants the train come along see if it just stops on it it has done in the past and it is painful if you're not ready so here we go 
Here's the brake of death fix. Is it, is it, you know, a bit more lenient today? You hop up and hit the brake. And yeah, it does. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it still hops quite badly. Then over this side, we got the Water Fun Factory here, which we've got a brilliant pod of this on the uh, channel. Uh, might give this one a go later. I've only got the one pair of jeans on me, so I don't know if I would have gone in here soaked. It is a super soaker. Oh, Wearing, a dress. Wearing your summer dress, uh, but yeah, this is a Revachon um, log flume here. Just a, it's like a prefab. You can actually um, buy these and transport them around on the back of lorries. Buy this log. I don't know. I'd love a log flume like this. Absolute super soaker, though. You'd just be able to see this one coming down the drop. But it is one of those log flumes where actually. Um, you find the smaller drop is worse than the bigger drop. Um, so yeah, that's one to bear in mind. And if you're unlucky, you can catch a second wave. So you see where this water is coming out of this chute here? If you're unlucky and you come down the first drop, which is here, and then another boat comes down the big drop, you'll see in a moment it causes a little wave out of those um, like vents and uh, it goes all over your lap. To the experience, yeah. Happened to us last time we rode it. But yeah, some brilliant theming on this little Revachon log flow. There he goes. So the wave comes. I think this one's just lucked out, but yeah, that wave comes around and oh no, it did get him. And I mean, it can get you quite wet if the wind's blowing the right way. Anyway, we've got the Sea Lion Splasher, which is just over here. We're going to jump in the queue for, and it starts in about 10 minutes' time. show at Pleasurewood Hills. It really is one of the highlights of the day. Really good show. It is a good long one. Uh, anyway, we're going to go grab some lunch now. We'll be back in the park a bit later on. Still got stuff like the uh, high to drive dodgems over there to do. I can, I can see they're actually pushing one of the dodgems around. I see them on the back. Um, hopefully they've actually got them working properly. But yeah, we'll be back doing that later. We've got the parrot show, which we're going to go for the four o'clock show, aren't yeah. we? Because it's only half an hour to the next one. We decided we're going to stop for lunch now. So we'll see you when we get back in the park momentarily. So we just had a lovely lunch on the picnic bench over behind us there. Um, yeah, Tesco. Tesco's meal deal. Can't go wrong. Free quid with your club card. Free 50 of that, your club card though. Anyway, now that we've done that, we're going to actually have a look in the gift shop here. It's their main shop. They don't have massive amount of merch in these shops, but we'll have a quick look in. Then we're going to head over to the cable car near the um, Express and go from there. I think an ice cream is being called for later, which uh, over at this store in front of us, I should do Kelly Scoops, so that's probably what I'm going to get later. Let's have a look what's on offer in the shop. No, I need a Kelly's. Yeah, it looks like they've done some work to this shop. We've got new stools and all that art. We've got some new merch, including children's t-shirts. We got Pleasurewood Hillside. That was there from last season. Got the generic jelly-like um, bits and pieces for stationery. You know, jelly pencil cases, jelly purses. And you got more generic merch, but there is more of branded merch, which is quite good to see. And yeah, actually, I'm quite impressed with how much branded merch they've got. It's nothing spectacular, but you've got these little bottles here, for example. We've got 
apparently 15 quid if I'm to believe that stick on the bottom, which I'm not going to lie, that seems a bit steep. How much? 15 pounds. For a mug? For a steel bottle, yes. We've got the fridge magnets here, just generic ones. I think we've already got a fridge magnet from here, different style. But yeah, pretty cool little shop. So yeah, not the cheapest shop there, actually. I think some of the merch is really expensive than a £10 yeah. pound for a like, normal mug. That's mad. So our next port call is going to be this cable car along here. We're going to go over to the express end. Should be quieter, it normally is. And uh, that literally takes you to the far end of the park. Huh? Everyone is on there. It's a very popular ride um, for getting yourself over the park. You can walk faster than it though, so... If you ever don't want to go, you can kind of walk alongside on this path here. Stretches the whole length of the ride. So now that the cable car is open, much shorter queue at this end. We'll show you what the queue is like at the other end, but it's almost certainly longer. For reference, it is just by the express over there. And uh, we'll see you on the ride as we are allowed to film. We've got to take our bags on, so we don't drop anything. Right, so we are on Death Trap the ride. Literally, I've got both hands on this grip. Like I've got the wrist strap on. <laughs> scraping the bottom as we came. So out yeah, when you first come, uh, when you first come on this, you go over the lake at this end, and my god, I wouldn't want to fall in this. But you see, like the pedalos, and it was very nice. Yeah, and then by the looks of it, the ramp fell into the water, and everyone didn't get to go on anymore. But yeah, these these gondolas are not anything like. It's amazing the plastic can hold any form of weight. Oh. But yeah, oh my god, it's just, it's a bit precarious. I'm not too bad when we get over the ground, I'd rather fall on the ground than well, in the... I'd rather fall in the water than in the ground. I don't know, like, what is that? Is that life down there? There's like some alien no, life bubble. form. Bubble? Bubbles? The bubbles! Yeah, get, some, get some great views from up here. Um, yeah, just trying my hardest not to drop the camera at the moment. And it's, it's quite a slow one, like I say, you could have easily walked this. But one thing that doesn't help the capacity of this ride is the fact that they only load every other car and I don't get why, like, it's not just so they can, like, load the other one at the other end. They just load one half. I guess it's a weight restriction to avoid overloading the motor. Um, but yeah, it would really help the um, queue because we waited, what, 15, 20 minutes for that? And that was a short and queue. That was a short queue. That was a short queue. Yeah, we're just going past Wipeout now with the Coma Boomerang. This is quite a popular one here. I can't see it going anywhere anywhere soon because it's like the big staple ride for this park. We'll have a cruise over to the other side then. I think we're going to go route and toot in carousel and train, yeah? Mm -hmm. Go. Cool. So the meet and greet with Woody outside of the Castle Theatre. Like, they advertise it as the Castle Theatre, but the theatre isn't used and hasn't been used in so many years now. And by the looks at it, it's a huge structure. Do you know what I'd like to see them do in there? Build a dark ride. Yeah. Put a like haunted house ride in there or something. That'd be really cool. So as we venture over, we've been recognised while we were on this ride, weren't we? There was By a group. Some tweens. There were some <laughs> tweens down behind <laughs> us, and anyway, they were like, "We watch you on YouTube." It was like really. We're awesome. watching the video. Hi. <laughs> it was nice to see you, even if it was from 30 foot in the air. <laughs> We're just coming up to the halfway mark now and uh, we always laugh at this because it's just like they just cut a little channel through the trees. Surely it'd be easier to get rid of the trees, but you know. I guess nature. Nature, yeah, nature was here first. And they're oak trees. You can't get rid of an oak tree. They are, yeah, they are oak trees. My foot is about to crash into it. <laughs> Literally, need to trim a bit more off. We're going past Wave Break with a huge expansion plot behind here. I would love to see this park build a new coaster back here. Just a budget one, maybe look at a Zamperla coaster or a little bag of Vacoma. But one day I do think this park would really benefit from a new coaster. As you can see, it is quite busy. Like It's a quiet park full stop. You know, it's a small little park. It's off season. It's not a half term, but you know, it's a good little park to visit. And we're going to miss the train though. We are. It, well, we can go for the miniature railway, can't we, down by the carousel. So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to be yeah, another five minutes or so. Horsey! Horsey off the rail. Did you see it? Yeah, I can see it on the camera. But yeah, we're probably going to be another five minutes yet. So we'll see you when we get off of the cable car. So we're just about to come in for landing now at the other end of the chair plane. The, not the chair plane, the chair lift. But you can see the queue down here. Like, this is easily three times as long as what we just waited in. You're probably looking at half an hour plus in there, I want to say. So if you want to get on this one, 
like I said, it doesn't really go anywhere per se, and it doesn't take you there faster or quicker. Uh, go from the express end. I guess it gives you a little bit more height. Yeah, it views. gives you a nice view, and it's quite pleasant after lunch. So we just come off of the cable car there. It took about 20 minutes all in, maybe 25 it's minutes. Long. It is long, definitely slow. Come off of this end by a pretty unique little ride. It's a Zamperla uh, flying ride, uh, similar to their Velour Coaster. It uses the same like gondolas, but on a ride vehicle anyway we're heading over towards the carousel on train now mm -hmm. the miniature train because we just missed the big train that's where they had the punch and judy yeah they did that was last time we came wasn't it yeah and uh, it was like an anniversary for punch and oh, judy 50 years or something. yeah it was something along those lines it was a long time, long time. but yeah we're going to uh, jump on the miniature train next and uh, have a look through the woods see if they've added any more theming to their little woodland run so when we were on the uh, cable cars, we came across, we saw this ride being constructed. Yeah, look, new attraction coming soon. Looks like a take on the Dumbo. It actually looks pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, I think it's going to be a kids-only ride, though. I don't think adults will be allowed on this one. It's quite confined. But yeah, coming soon. The Pleasurewood Hills looks pretty cool. That's just behind the woody copters over here, uh, where they've got a few more of the kiddie rides. In fact, this whole area is really well landscaped and looks really pretty. just come off of the miniature railway louise is still eager to get a tango ice blast but they don't do it anymore perfect for right now wasn't it it would be like i'm i'm gonna be sourcing out an ice cream very soon i think uh, i've got to say like with that last ride it was i don't think it was bit, we've not been on it with a full load before and yeah we were the last two to get on it was very cramped oh my god it's just like for an adult like, like i couldn't enjoy that comfortably the kids probably just were moaning <laughs> <together> <laughs> like, i can't feel my legs uh, anyway, we're gonna go on Root and Toot and we're gonna pass it again. Yeah. So we're gonna jump on Root and Toot again, head around, see what Marble Madness is queues like. They'll probably get the log flume done. Water fun factory. But the weather like this, can't really go wrong with a good old water ride. So, slight change of plan. We're gonna go on the water fun factory first, which I'm gonna regret because I am wearing jeans oh, currently. Stop my keys, even though my car's not here. Yeah, but, but yeah, Water Fun Factory is a great little log flume, like I say, done by Revachon. Bit of a super soaker. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we fare on this. I'll take you on with the GoPro, guys, and we'll see you when we get off the ride. Right, so we're off on the Water Fun Factory, and uh, Louise chicken out the side of the back. <laughs> I've gone for the front um, because I need to film, apparently, even though I was like, no, I'll sit at the back way. So we're both crammed into this little tiny bit at the back. Popping a wheelie. Oh, I've got tripped on. I hate this log flow. We get soaked and I'm wearing jeans. I, get wet and get I know we're going to cop the mega wave, aren't we, from yeah. another boat. I just know our luck. So, yeah, it's a pretty good log flume this one but this is the little drop you've got to be careful of oh god here we go oh why though why we're gonna get soaked here we go Woo! oh oh my god yep i'm rather wet no 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 Okay, but it's a step away from that one. That was so close. That was so close. But that's why. Like I am, I'm rather wet from that, but not unpleasantly wet. Amazingly, we didn't cop the mega wave too badly. Yeah. Although that's if what I meant. Yeah, we we just got away with that. Here we go. Oh, this going in my pants. Third class Derek Brown, go straight over there. Bit of, bit of breaking before the drop, we don't want to go down it too fast. Here we go. No, no, we miss them. I'm soaked. I am soaked. Oh god. Oh god. Why did you make us do that? I'm actually soaked. 
Anyway, that's the end of the ride, guys. We'll see you when we get off. Just come off the water fun factory there a great little ride good level of wetness that that. my jeans are soaked my jeans are absolutely hammered uh, but yeah great little lock for him i do like it considering it is just a transportable remachon boat ride uh, anyway next up we're going on marble madness also known as the break of death ride they really do love their trims on this so again i'll be taking you on with the gopro and uh, we'll experience it together, see how good their trim brakes are today. Like I say, it's that brake run after this straight bit just here. Uh, that brake can be quite lethal uh, on occasion, but they do seem to be running like reduced amount of trains at the moment. So, hi, World of Coasters on YouTube. But yeah, we're going to get on this one next. Here we are, next ride of the day. All right, so here we go on Marble Madness. I don't know, I didn't look actually. I, I, I'll have to look when we get off. But I am not looking forward to the break of death. Number five, break number five. Let's see how they fare with it. I don't know if you can see that very well. We're going up a bit fast. Here we go, let's just see. And race, oh my god. Why am I not sitting next to you? I'm gonna go everywhere. <laughs> oh god. Definitely feels like it could use with a bit of maintenance. Okay, first brake, we just not even rolled over it. No brakes on that. No, oh, okay, right next brake. Again, we don't need that one. I'm worried for the brake of death. Here it comes. Brace, brace for it. Here it comes, and... Oh, it's not as bad as it used to be, but it is still quite punchy. Here we go, whoa! Woo, brake. <laughs> They're just so brutal. Why does it have to stop the train, basically? Cut the bunny hills to finish off. Hey! Okay. Air time! Whoa! Oh, into a corner. Little break. Nah, we don't need that one. Next one we will. We're going to stop on this one. Here we go. Oh, oh, do you know what? No, no. Okay, that one caught me off guard. There we go. Marble Madness. I pleasure would hear this. Right, so Marble Madness done a near on walk on for that. Like, getting some great interaction today from the staff members and. and the yeah, like. Like, we've been recognised by quite a few people. I think because not many people vlog this park. It's quite a small little park, but yeah, we've been recognised. Next up, we're going to be going on the Hyperspace Dodgems over here. This is the laughable Dodgems from a few seasons ago where we were being pushed around by the ride up because they were just dying constantly did see a bit of maintenance last season so it was working a bit better uh, looks like we're going to be on the next cycle of this one it's the hyperspace dodgems got all their cars in service now which is better than before though they used to have only four in use didn't they so yeah i think who's gonna be a police car who's gonna be a taxi oh, I don't know. there we'll see you on the ride Right, so we're off on the Dodgems now. I'm in a police car, Louise is in the um, cab. My car seems a little bit slow off the mark. It does seem like this, there are big spots in all these. And Louise is behind me. Normally I brought you on the chest, which I can't tell the camera, she's gonna attack. Oh, there she is. Oh, no. Here we go round. My car's a bit slow in this corner. There. <laughs> right, so we've come off of the hyperspeed hyperspace hyperspace hyper no <laughs> the hyperdrive dodgems, that's the one. Going over to the carousel now, we're kind of cracking out the rides. I want to do the drop tower again. We need to do the big train. We do need to do the big train. That has multiple stations, one near the entrance of the park. One which is just along here actually. No, the station's gone, it used to be there. But they've got rid of it, yeah, so it's closed apparently. Ronnie Station, Pleasure Wood Hills is closed for redevelopment. So they're actually redeveloping back there at the moment. 
But the carousel we're going to be going on is uh, just over here. It's a classic. Yeah. They used to play pop songs on its organ, and I wish they'd bring it back because it was it was it was hilarious, wasn't it? It wasn't the best organ in the world. Uh, but yeah, let's get on the carousel. Right, so here is our next ride of the day. It's going to be the wave break here. Are we, oh, hang on. Are we going on it? Yeah. I don't know if I want to. I always find it really weird because this one, they always say that it's one, uh, two riders per boat. And it's kind of like, it's weird because most parks, it's one rider per boat. Especially adults. But yeah, it's a double slide. Hasn't really got a queue at the moment, which is good to see. So we should be able to get on it nice and quick. And uh, yeah, let's watch one of the boats come down. I should not say that run. Oh my god! Right, so we just come off of wave breaker there, and my god, we just died of hysterics there. I have I have never sat at the front of one of those because normally you you sit at the front. Um, yeah. But you were like, no, I'm not sitting in the front because I've got the dress on. Yeah. Being all ladylike. Uh, but yeah, uh, we we made air on the first one. You headbutted my chin. No. And that's right, no. <laughs> sorry, I headbutted your, your head chin. Went yeah, back, yeah. Into your chin. And then uh, the, the second airtime hill, oh my god, we actually left the slide. Like, luckily, we were still on course. We went back like, down on it. But... It hurt my back when we hit the ground then. <laughs> and then we nearly hit the end, and we were just dying of hysterics at the end. But yes, half past. was like looking at us, like, get up. <laughs> get up, please. It's like, no, I can't. Anyway, we're going to jump on the uh, Pleasure, Pleasurewood Express now and uh, take a tour around before the parrot show. So we're off on the Pleasure, Pleasure Beach, the Pleasurewood Hills Express. It's just a little train ride through the main part of the park. Like I said earlier, it has three stations, but only two are in operation at the moment. Again, yeah, nice view, and actually by the looks of the time, we could be able to go on the, um, <laughs> God, they need to trim their bushes a bit. We could be able to go on the uh, parrot show after this, which will be very nice to end the day. So here we go, the back of the Pleasurewood Hills, Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I never know how the locomotive at the front, that's a bit strange. But this apparently is used as a scare maze, or has been in the past. So I think that'd be interesting to see. It would be cool to come here for Halloween one time. And we have a water bomb factory over here. What do you think of your ride on the train, Lou? It's not as good as the miniature one. No, it isn't. The miniature one is more like speedy, Me. zippy. Assuming you can actually get a seat and not have to cramp your legs <laughs> in. Uh, we're off over to the um, parrot show now. And, I, and uh, my watch was wrong. Uh, so this watch has a tendency, if it's on like low battery mode, it just holds the screen till you tap it. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was actually 3.30. It's actually 3.55. So we're going over to the parrot show now. And uh, we're going to go watch the parrot show. I think we've only ever seen this once on our first ever visit, haven't we, Lou? I know, like, you, like, get some sort of bike thing or something. Yeah, and they yeah. walk to trees and all that sort yeah. of thing. But we'll see you in what the theatre, guys. What do you I don't know. I'll ask for free ice cream. <laughs> Could smash an ice cream. But there's a Tesco's down the road afterwards. It'll probably be cheaper to get ice cream from Tesco's. My name's Kate. And uh, I am going to ask my friend Emilio to start for us. We are going to be racing this time, aren't we, Emilio? This is a big job for a small bird. Come on in, Emilio. It's going to go all the way to the top. Give her a big round of applause. Come on, Emilio. Red is a green wing macaw, but lots of people get muddled up between the different types of red macaws. So, Emilio, who started with a flag, She's a scarlet macaw. If you look at green and red wings, you can see they've got green on them between the red and the blue. A medium has got yellow instead. She's more of an orangey red, and she's a bit smaller. The green winged macaw is one of the largest species of parrot. They have to do with a tired baby parrot, except put them in their little parrot pram. But you don't look tired, she looks wide awake. Let's find out, shall we? Chucky, are you sleepy? <laughs> she is. Okay, so we're going to tuck her then into her little parrot pram. 
Give her a peanut gummy to keep her busy. What I find her best friend for her. Trevor knows the best way to get Chucky off to sleep. This is by taking her for a walk. All the way to the end of the table. Well done, Trevor! She's very good at riding her bike. She goes very fast. Off we go! <laughs> And then Angus. Come on then, Angus. <sighs> Angus is going to have a go at doing some flying for us. So she's going to fly through the three hoops above your head. So stay seated. Keep your hands down. When she lands with me, you're going to give her a big round of applause. You're looking where you're going, Angus. Off she goes. One, two, three. Very good, Angus. There we go guys, some highlights from the Pleasurewood Hills Parrot Show. Oh, it was quite good, we haven't seen it in a little while. The Sea Lion Show is definitely the one to see though, I think. Um, it's still very good, the Parrot Show, as you saw from the highlights. Just like one ice cream. Got myself a crunchy ice cream, I haven't had one of these in years. I know he's has a Smarty pop-up ice cream. I'm disgusted by that. Big down for her. She's like, you know these don't have Smarties in the bar? I'm like, that is not on. When, when I was a kid, this bottom bit yeah, used to have clear. Smarties in it. Yeah, and had Smarties. It was a little treat when you finished it. So anyway, we're going to chow down like this and then get our last few rides of the day on before the park closes. Okay. Right, so we have our final ride of the day done on the Express there. What did you think of that, though? That was so fast. It was fast. Even at the front. We actually, yeah, I was just about to say, got a front row. We've never been front row on that. We always go for the back. Just goes to show how much it can change the ride experience being at a different part yeah. of the train. You get so much hang time on the front of that and the air time when you go over the first hill yeah. is uh, quite impressive because obviously you're waiting to be pulled over and then you're being shot up the yeah. first hill. Um, but yeah, I've had a really good day here today, guys. Always a brilliant time coming out to Pleasurewood Hills. Mm -hmm. I do feel there are certain things they could improve on. There's some things that are wearing down a bit. They do need to invest Every in some new flats. It's like that in this country. I yeah. Say, but, you know, you need a healthy budget to maintain. Oh god, yeah. Like I said, even I, a park this size. I do, I do think it's a good park still, nonetheless. It's really good with families. <laughs> this one, like I say, could use a flat ride invest. Uh, I'm gonna say a new coaster anywhere because that's just me. But yeah, brilliant day, guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, by all means, leave a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.